find the circumcenter of a triangle with vertices A, which is 0.4 comma 5, B, 2 comma negative 2, and C, negative 6 comma 0. So let's plot these points. So the first point is A, 4, 5. So this is 4 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. So this is point A, which is 4 comma 5. B is 2, negative 4. So this is point B, which is 2, comma, negative 4. And point C is 6, uh, 6, negative 6, comma, 0. Now what's the circumcenter? So let's draw the triangle first. So I'm using a line tool to draw this triangle. A circumcenter is a point, okay? So the word center is associated with a circle. So when you when a center, you have a center of a circle. You can have also center of ellipse and other uh, figures. But center, in this case, is associated with a circle. So circumcenter is the center of the circle which passes through the vertices of this triangle. So if you can draw a circle with just part touches or passes through the vertices, that circle's center is called the circumcenter. Now, the next question is, how would you find the circumcenter? So there is a point somewhere. It can be inside or it can be outside and it can also be on the triangle, a circumcenter. Uh, is a point, uh, here is my definition, or here is the definition of a circumcenter. This is not the definition I have made of this. I uh, use my own words. So you the, the perpendicular bisector of all the three sides always passes through one point, and that point is called the circumcenter of the triangle. So if you draw, if you know the equation of the perpendicular bisector, or if you draw the perpendicular bisector of the three sides, they will always pass through one point, and that point is the circumcenter. So if that point is the circumcenter, that point is at the same distance from A, B, and C. So we're going to use uh, coordinate geometry to find the perpendicular bisector. I hope you know the perpendicular bisector is a line which is perpendicular to the line segment and passes through the midpoint. So let us first look at A, B. So this is a line segment, A, B. Okay, so for line segment AB, let us first find the midpoint. Let us first look at the midpoint of line segment AB. So I'll be using uh, the graphic calculator to do many of the things here. The midpoint, to find the midpoint is, of any line segment is pretty easy. You add the x-coordinates so and divided by two in other words you're finding half way between the x coordinates and the y coordinates so i can do this so i go four plus two is six i'm adding the x coordinates so six divided by two is three and here phi plus negative four is one divided by two is half so the first the midpoint of a b is three comma half so that point is three comma half somewhere here. So this is the midpoint. So let us name that as say D. Okay, so D is the midpoint of AB. The perpendicular bisector will pass through the midpoint and is perpendicular to the midpoint. So let's find the gradient of uh, AB. Okay, so let us, I'll do first without the calculator and for the other equation I'll use the calculator. So to find the gradient of AB, the rise is from negative 4 to 9. So when I look at line AB, if I consider line AB, a line segment as a line AB, I can see the gradient is positive. So the rise is from negative 4 to 9. So the rise is 9. And the run is from negative, sorry, 2 to 4. So the run is 2. I'll not write this as a decimal because I want, this can be written as 4.5. So the equation of the line AB would be 9 over 2x 
plus c. Now you can put either this point or this point in this equation. So let us put 4 comma 5 in this equation. So when x is 4, y is 5. So in place of y, I can put 5 is equal to 9 over 2 times 4. Am I right? Plus c. Okay. So this becomes uh, 5 is equal, this is 36, 18 plus c. Okay. And so your c is uh, 13 or negative 13. Yeah. If you take away 18 from both sides, the y intercept is negative 13. So this is how you do without the calculator. And I'll show you how to do this on a calculator. So you don't need to go through this whole process. So this is nothing but 9 over 2x minus 13. Okay, so yeah, the, this is the equation of this, of this line AB. Okay, so let me delete this. Don't want this now anymore. Delete, delete. Okay, now how to do this on a calculator? You go to your stats menu, uh, go to your stats menu. I'll drag this up a little. Go to your stats menu and type in, let me delete this. Delete, yes. Delete, yes. So you just enter the x, uh, x and y coordinate like this. So you 4, enter, and 5. So yeah. in list 1, you enter the x coordinate, and in list 2, you enter the y coordinate. So here b is 2 enter negative 4 just like that and then you go to uh, graph and then you look graph and go to your setup this should be a setup you're drawing the scatter graphs list 1 should be li x list should be list 1 and y list should be list 2 frequency should be 1 and this you can do anything these are three options I'll put this cross mark okay so what the calculator will do is it has plotted these two points and then you tell your calculator calculate so calculate what because this is a line so you press x f2 here we go so the equation of that line is 4.5 x minus 13 okay so we're going to use this for the other part of the example so this is a long example so if you know the equation of line a b or if you know the gradient we didn't know we didn't have to find the whole equation but i've explained this because later on we we are going to use this so yeah the uh if the gradient of a b is 9 over 2 the gradient of perpendicular so i'm not writing the notation this is called this is a notation of perpendicular so the gradient of uh, perpendicular of a b I'll write like this, would be minus 2 over 9. The gradient of the perpendicular of AB would be minus 9 over, minus 2 over 9. Why did I write minus 2 over 9? Because the product of a line and the perpendicular would always be negative 1. So I hope you can see 9 over 2 times minus 2 over 9 would give you negative 1. This implies uh, equation of equation of AB I'll put perpendicular like this if I'm making up my own notations the equation of perpendicular of AB would be y is equal to minus 2 over 9 x plus C we need the equation of the perpendicular so now what I'm going to do is we know that it this is the midpoint which is three comma half i'm going to put this in the equation so i can put x as three and y as half so i can say half is equal to negative two over nine times x is three plus c so this is half is equal to negative six over nine plus c which implies C is half, this is minus two-thirds, so plus two-thirds. So let me, of course, this is, let me use without, do without the calculator. So this is nothing but 
changing into 6, so this is 3 sixth plus 4 sixth, which is 7 sixth. So the equation, this is y is equal to minus 2 over 9x plus 7 over 6. I want this exact number, so I'm not changing this into decimal. Okay, so that's done. So we need the, so yeah, this is the equation. So if you want to draw that line, it is, you know it passes through 7, 6, which is 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, so just to give you an idea of the line, the line, this is 1 and 2 thirds, this is 1. So the line would go somewhat like this, somewhat like this, 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, just to give you an idea of how or what is a perpendicular bisector. So this this perpendicular bisector passes to the midpoint, which is 3 comma half, and is also perpendicular to the line segment. So this is at right angle. Okay. So now let us, so this is, we have found uh, the perpendicular bisector of AB. Now let us look at BC. So let me change color. So for BC, what is the gradient? We don't need the equation, so let us do without the calculator. The gradient of BC, so the rise, this has a negative slope. So the rise is from negative 4 to 0. So the rise is, rise is 4 and the run is 8. Okay, from 2 to negative 6 is 8. So I can say the rise, the gradient of BC rises 4 and the run is negative 8. So the gradient is negative half. Okay, so this implies equation of uh, perpendicular uh, equation of BC perpendicular. So I'm making up this own notation. So uh, this means it is a equation of perpendicular of BC. So that would be if the gradient of BC is negative half, the gradient of perpendicular of BC would be 2. So it would be 2x plus C. Okay, so what's the, it passes through which points? The midpoint. Okay, I didn't find the midpoint. So what's the midpoint of this two? Add minus 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 is? Negative 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is the midpoint. And 0 plus negative 4 is? Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So the midpoint here, so let me call this say E. It has the midpoint of negative 2 comma negative 2. So the perpendicular bisector will pass through here. Okay, so we're almost there. So we can say when x is negative 2, y is negative 2. So I'm going to put that in this equation. So negative 2 is equal to negative 4 plus c, which implies c is equal to 2. So which implies this equation is y is equal to 2x plus 2. So the Okay, let us also find the equation. So let us draw that. So the perpendicular bisector uh, has passes through 2. This is 2 on the y-axis because the y-intercept is 2. So the perpendicular bisector, you can draw a line like this. So this is the perpendicular. I'm drawing this so that you understand. So this line is passing through the midpoint and is also perpendicular to BC. So finally, let us look at AC. Okay, now for AC, what is the gradient of AC? MAC. The MAC, mm, yeah, you add the x-intercept, which is negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 divided by 2 is uh, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So I'll first write the midpoint. So the midpoint, midpoint of AC is, I'm adding the x-intercepts, which is negative 2 divided by 2, which is negative 1. 
negative 1 comma uh, 2.5 0 plus 5 is 5 and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 so the midpoint of AC is negative 1 comma 2.5 am I right yeah negative 1 comma 2.5 so this is negative 1 and this is 2.5 so that is pretty accurate so this is say your F this is very clumsy which is negative 1 comma 2.5 so your perpendicular bisector will pass through this point so the gradient is of course positive so you're rising from 0 to 5 okay and so your rise is 5 your rise is 5 and what's your run the run is the run is from 6 to 4 so the run is 10 so again the gradient is uh, 6 so the gradient is half so the gradient of perpendicular of AC would be negative 2 because half times negative 2 is 1 therefore equation of uh, how did I write I keep forgetting equation of AC perpendicular okay would be y is equal to minus 2x plus c now we know this line passes through this point which is minus 1 comma 2.5 so I can put y as 2.5 so 2.5 is equal to uh, if you put minus 1 years this will become 2 plus c okay because minus 2 times negative 1 is plus 1 so if you take away 2 from both sides c is 0 0.5 or it is half so this equation the equation of the perpendicular bisector of ac is minus 2x plus half okay so i think you can see my messy work so this is half so let us draw it so uh, your half your half will come somewhere here yeah because we know the y-intercept is half so the perpendicular bisector would be a line which is passing through these two points okay so my figure is not very exact here because these three lines should uh, I'll do some changes here so that you can see so these three points I'm doing a bit of cunningness so these three points will intersect at this point so let me use a different color so this point is called the circumcenter okay so these three lines are the perpendicular bisectors but we'll use it algebra we'll use graph to prove that these three lines do intersect at one and the same points so I'm going to use a graphic calculator you can use algebra so the equation of AB is this so let me uh, go to graph Oops. let me go to graph and let me delete this Oops. delete yes so the first equation is minus 2x divided by 9 so let me write that minus 2x divided by 9 plus 7 divided by 6 execute what's the second equation second equation is um, yeah my 2x plus 2 okay so let us type in that 2x plus 2 and see upside to change the scale make it initial yeah so this is the point of intersection so you go g solve intersect so your point of intersection is minus 0 0.375 uh, 1.25 so let me write that so a circumcenter you can say circumcenter this is a, one of the longest videos circumcenter the coordinates were minus 0 0.375 1.25 so minus 0 0.375 comma 1.25 okay it's a difficult to plot but let us confirm whether the, this line will if you type in this equation you'll get the same answer 
so let me delete this and type in minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 okay and see what happens intersect the same point the point of intersection is same okay so here basically all the three points or all the three lines are intersecting at this point and this point let me write it here this point is nothing but this does make sense minus 0 0.375 comma 1.25 so that is a point which is equidistant from all the three so let me try to draw a circle I may not be perfectly possible so but let me try this. so this is my electronic uh, compass so I'm going to uh, move this so let me move this let me turn this this way okay so I'm going to move this okay let me try so let me move this oops mm. I'll try my level best to give you a bit uh, the best shot okay so yeah and let me draw it okay hopefully I'm successful yeah, it's not very exact okay it doesn't matter so this is my construction is not good so this is called the circumcenter if suppose my construction was perfect this circle would have passed through a b and c 